We're back here in Carroll County, Maryland with uh, Winfield Community Volunteer Fire Department using uh, engine 142 again. I'm Mark Davis, GBW Associates, uh, home of GotBigWater.com and we are looking at the Trident Auto Air Prime at what we would call a high lift. We have uh, three lengths of six inch hard sleeve coming off of this bridge down to a box strainer in the stream. What we're gonna do is a driver operator at Scott Dayhoff again. He is gonna prime that pump or he's gonna engage the pump, run it up to a thousand RPMs. It's a 1500 gallon minute pumper using six inch hard sleeve. And once he hits that auto prime, we're gonna start a timer and see what it takes to uh, get this thing prime. RPMs are up. Got it at 1,000. And it started. You can hear the air primer. So we'll try to see. We can see the water coming up in the tube. There it is. It's on its way to the coupling, almost, almost at that last coupling. Almost there, almost there. All right, so it made it to that coupling. We're at the 24 second mark. Now it's coming up closer to coming over top of the bridge. Hard to see in the sunlight. Maybe that's a better picture. So there it is right there. We're at 39 seconds. You can see some air bubbles, so that's going to be coming probably from one of them couplings. Notice the driver operator's touching nothing on that pump panel. We're at 57 seconds. Air primer still working, automatic feature. Remember, gravity's trying to pull this water back. Now it's gonna start coming into the pump. We're at a minute 16. We'll start to see discharge pressure on this pump once the pump fills itself up. Minute 28. Notice our vacuum is at about 15 inches, 14, 15 inches. That equates to about 16 foot of lift from the surface of the water to the eye of the impeller. Minute 43, 44, we should start to see some changes occurring as the pump casing fills up. You can see you still have some air bubbles coming through. And here we go. You're changing the motor a little bit. Now that pump is primed. Uh, two minutes, six seconds for 16 foot of lift. We'll have him go ahead and charge the discharge. Charge that three inch line just so we have some water flowing. You should hear the air primer kick in maybe. There it is. Now it's good to go. It kicked in and took an air bubble out. So uh, a really good example of how the automatic air primer can work at a high lift. I would offer that you need to think about doing this with a rotary vane primer and having to prime for a minute and a half or two minutes to get your water all the way up to the pumper. Uh, most likely you'd smell that primer smoking or burning and you'd see it smoking. So from the uh, from perspective of this, the uh, high lift does not appear to be a problem for the Trident automatic air primer.